Please take a moment to read this disclaimer. This presentation is intended for professional HVAC technicians only. It is not intended for homeowners. Welcome to Zen HVAC Micro Training Video Series. What you need to know, when you need to know it, in 10 minutes or less. How to calculate air handler airflow the easy way. Why do you care? Who cares about airflow? Well, incorrect airflow can cause coil frosting, condensate carryover, heat exchanger, corrosion, and even hair loss. How can it cause hair loss? Simple. Every one of these will make you want to pull your hair out. First, we're going to need a few tools. One, a tape measure, measuring device, ruler, I don't care. Second, a magnahelic or a U-tube manometer, something to measure static pressure. And number three, the manufacturer's product data with a fan curve in it for the unit you're working on. Let's get started. There's an air handler. No kidding. We're going to start in the fan section. First, we're going to make sure the belts are tight. Because if the belts are loose, we're going to have slip. And if we have slip, all our readings are going to be garbage, which means our airflow calculation will be garbage. While we're in that compartment, we're going to check the RPM on the motor's nameplate. In this example, it's 3,500 RPM. Step three, we're going to measure the shivs. Don't call them pulleys or shivs. Okay, first we're going to measure the bigger one, the blower pulley, shiv. We're going to measure the outside diameter. In this case, it is 10 inches. Next, we're going to measure the motor's shiv. Now, this one you have to be a little bit more careful. You have to measure where the belt is riding, not the outside diameter of the shiv itself. Look at the red line. See how they're stopping where the back of the belt is? That's the point you want to measure. In this case, we have three and a half inches. Pretty simple so far. Step five, we're going to do some simple math. We're going to take motor RPM, which in our case was 3,500. We're going to multiply it times the functional diameter of the motor shiv, which was three and a half inches. And then we're going to divide that by the blower shiv, which in our case was 10 inches. That gives us 1,225 blower RPM. Told you it was simple. Now we're going to measure some internal static pressures. Find or make two small holes, one in the supply duct and one in the return section. Note one is in the supply duct and one is in the return section of the unit, not the return duct work. Now we're actually going to measure the static. We're going to take our magnahelic. We're going to hold the tube up against the supply duct, hold it against it tight. And in this case, we have a positive 1.5 inch reading. And then we're going to check the return. And in that case, we had a one inch reading. Now we're going to add them together. Even though the return was a negative number, we're going to treat it like a whole. So one inch plus 1.5 inches equals 2.5 inches total static pressure or TSP. Step nine, we're going to go to our product data and we're going to find the fan curve for the unit we're working on. And there it is. You'll notice on the left, we have static pressure, and then we have curved lines that represent RPM. We go back, we had 1,225 RPM, and you'll see there's 1,200, that's close enough. And you see how it's on that curve, I'm drawing red dots on it. That's the curve we're gonna track our static pressure over to. Our static pressure is 2.5 inches. We find 2.5 inches on that left-hand column. We draw a line over until it hits that curve for 1200 RPM. Then we draw an arrow down. That's our CFM column. In this case, we're just under 2000, so we're right around 1900 CFM. This air handler is moving 1900 CFM. Points to remember, this method will get you close, close enough for troubleshooting and field commissioning. Always follow proper safety protocol, i.e. lockout tagout. Always use internal static pressure for air handlers. Rooftops use external. 
and if you have a VFD, see our video on calculating RPM on VFD equipped units. And last but not least, never exceed the blower's maximum RPM. Bad things will happen. Let us know what you think, let us know how we can improve it, and let us know what topic you'd like to see next, and we'll do it. Thanks for watching.